Hello everyone, welcome to your June 2020 general reading. So before I begin, I just want to explain how to get a personal reading. All you need to do is to follow the link in the description below this video. Okay, below the video you have the description and all the links that you need for the merchandise, for personal readings and for the meditation channel as well because I'm going to go and start going live and meditate with, uh, with you guys if you subscribe. Okay, so if you want to do that, you just need to follow those links. I'm using as well the Energy Oracle cards, so uh, it's, it's a really nice deck. I didn't know about this, this deck and I'm quite excited to use it. I've used it in personal readings already. You can also check my social media, my Instagram or my Facebook. Also, um, thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. So don't forget to give a like and if you find messages here especially, okay? Uh, this is a general reading so it may not be all for you, all the messages. Maybe also the role could be reversed. The energy could be the other person if, you, if it's in a love situation. So just keep an open mind and, and yes, that's it. So um, thank you so much and let's begin now with your sign. Hello Libra, welcome to your reading. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. June 2020. Libra, ooh, confusion. Choices to make. All right, could be about a Sagittarius. You could get, you could be a, a little bit impatient to start something new, a new phase in your life, or even to travel. <laughs> Some of you, yes. And you also confused about this whole thing that's going on, um, all the restrictions, and so it's telling you to be patient. As well, when you make a decision, when you make a choice, when you make a choice, do take your time. It's talking about moderation, so uh, also balance. It's all about balance here as well. Because the full is definitely a new phase here starting for you. And, you, and I heard the startup, some of you are starting a business, a new business, um, a new job, a new relationship with someone. You're still a bit confused about them or um, you're looking still, you're looking at your options before you make a decision. This could also be this person's energy if this is not you and you feel that they are like this right now and also confusing you. Mixed messages. Okay, in the near future we've got the Hermit. So this is you going within, finding your answers, finding um, that guiding light. To be involved with the Virgo. Um, this is also maturity, someone mature. And I do see that September is always coming. September, September, November now here for you. September, November is the time to take a leap of faith. Maybe even the travel will happen in September, November, or something important for you that you are thinking about doing, um, even starting. So some things need to be released. And if you have to make a decision right now, Judgment, yeah, someone may be pushing you to make a decision. The Five of Cups on your mind. May, you may be trying to forget what happened in the past. Uh, stop crying over spilled milk. You can't take anything back right now. Or whatever was said, whatever, you know. And you may not want to take someone back. And someone may be wanting a second chance. Or you do. 
and crowning you. So one wants, wants the second chance, the other one is trying to say, nah, we're living this in the past and I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not looking at this option anymore. You could be maybe indecisive if you do leave that in the past or not. And you have to make a decision very soon. Yeah, you've got that past energy is lack of clarity, lack of communication. Maybe you, you, you cut off communication with someone or they did. Could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. There's also uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or whoever this is. Okay, this is a strong Aries energy or Gemini. The Ace of Cups is reversed. So someone feels unrequited love or that you don't want to start this relationship, maybe even because of, um, I'm hearing even spirituality, something connected to your spirituality, something connected to what you have to um, pursue, what you have to, this is your path that you're walking, um, your purpose. And it could be, well, they may be uh, as well. That's the person that you have in your environment. This could be the one that is thinking like that. They're on this mission. Outcome. Libra outcome for June. This could be a spiritual, um, someone very spiritual, even religious or this is their spiritual journey, or your spiritual journey. They maybe like to stay, uh, they like to isolate, like the hermit. Meditate. So you may be thinking about doing this as well, um, spending more time alone, self-isolating. <laughs> yeah but it's uh, it's not a bad thing uh, you know as long every as long as it's done with moderation as well so you know um depending on your responsibilities and your lifestyle you know moderation is the key so keeping that it is reversed so maybe you um not considering the the your actions or they may not really cons be considering you as well whoever is going through this but you have the sun the sun will shine um and yes you have september i say september because virgo season but uh, virgo season starts in august end of august so it could be end of August for some of you that you have a yes that you have that decision and my, my dog is dreaming about some things so he's making those noises probably chasing chasing birds in his sleep <laughs> um, you could you could be de dealing with a Leo even a Casper here Virgo Leo What's this confusion? The Libra. Yeah. Mm. Okay. About a relationship that if even about oh, is someone free? Is someone in a relationship? You may be thinking about it, or you may be thinking uh, about this relationship that with the Ten of Pentacles has its problems, okay? So we've got a Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. So someone that is even juggling you or has done this to you and you actually found out the betrayal. This again, the King of Cups reversed 
It could also be someone that was actually expressing a lot of jealousy. And sometimes, you know, uh, if there's no communication and there's a lot of jealousy, some people tend to do the wrong thing and maybe choose the, the path of cheating uh, because they were, there was mistrust. So I do feel one of you did that. Uh, or maybe because they actually caught you or you had reasons to be jealous, had reasons to um, stop communicating. So this time of confusion is also an introspection, is also to see. Uh, maybe you've been, it's been a long time. I'm seeing seven years, seven months, seven could just be even a week that this happened. But um, this time of confusion may made you realize or they are um, realizing things about themselves that they didn't. They didn't really know. Um, and I feel they just, it's just the wrong, a wrong decision that was made. But uh, right now, clarifying this, you've got also the Six of Swords. Okay. So someone may decide to uh, unblock the communication. Maybe you even got you even blocked them, or they blocked you. And with the six of swords, finally f uh, moving on. Okay, or moving on, which is leaving this uh, pain in the past and moving on together. But um, for others of you, this is. A feeling of there's nothing else that is holding you back. There is an obstacle anymore. You don't have to defend yourself now. You can now find your your way and find the balance here and completely move on maybe on your own. Some of you, you will move on from this on your own. But not all. You could be moving on together. But there's time of introspection that needs to uh, that needs to happen, and maybe from now till again Virgo season, and uh, this is when you you have the big joy there, the big happiness. Even some of you may be having a baby. Oh my God, the Empress! And I was gonna say. You, you may be getting pregnant or someone will get pregnant. We'll get pregnant. The Empress. This could be your abundance as well. May you feel happy because you're finally getting to that safe place, feeling that, you know, um, that you finally are prosperous again, abundant. The Empress, I'm seeing that the other person, if there's a third party, um, it could have been, this is someone mature, but very attractive. You know, they're very charming. Male or female, but they're mature and spiritual. But the, the third party could be a Virgo for some of you, not all. got Libra Taurus, another Libra, some of you dealing with another Libra, Taurus, which is the Empress, Libra, Venus rules Libra, and Taurus. So we've got Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, commitment. So there's, there's definitely a third party, but um, for some, look at this, two women and the Ten of Pentacles. Who am I going to choose? Uh, or someone is trying to choose here. The Queen of Pentacles is just, is someone very abundant. That they're making their money. Okay. But 
if this is your energy, which I do see the abundance is coming for you, you also feel that stability, you also feel in charge of your money, uh, of your even, uh, this could be a mother figure, again, comfortable because you are comfortable and you helping your mother, helping um, maybe the mother of your children, your children, this is all about the family. Um, but some of you, this is the one you want to marry. This is the the female, or they see you as the the empress. Everything with the Queen of Pentacles is the wife. They want to make you their wife. If you're not already married, if you are, if you are already married, it could be a Virgo third party female. There is a brunette and there is um, someone with a lighter hair. And this could be someone that is foreign. They just, they just have an exotic or foreign, okay? Exotic looking definitely, but uh, um, even the way they dress is different. Uh, they do like the bling, bling, bling. Yeah, and you've got the world there. Wow, first time I saw the world. And I did see foreign. They could be from a different country. The other female. Or oh, this is how this person sees you, okay? Or how you're seeing someone here. Um, even attracted to that exotic look yeah different culture different religion some of you are on different spiritual paths as well uh, different religious beliefs or you're walking a different spiritual path but um still together i feel still um even though you're following different, uh, you believe in different in different things. You do here come together beautifully. Okay, so everything came out in the reverse. This is telling me that we've got the fire signs. We've got a we've got a situation, a lover situation that is coming back. Someone that maybe you were very young. And you didn't have a happy ever after. With the Eight of Cups, they may want to return for a second chance. So you may want to return to them for a second chance. But remember, this didn't work out in the past. The fulfillment is not there. So you could be dealing with someone that's quite materialistic. Or you need more from this person, even fina financially. You're looking for, you may be looking for someone more um, financially stable. Or deciding uh, <laughs> based on that. <laughs> so, Prince of Wands, Princess of Wands reversed. Okay, there's some flirtatious energy coming your way, messages. I'm flirting with you. Back and forth communication though. But you're not you don't seem to be doing it to taking action. But maybe they're waiting for that. For you to start flirting with them. Eight of Swords. I feel you've been stuck on um, negative thinking. Or you just They're not looking at each other. They, they're pretending they don't care. And they don't make a decision. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. So, Nine of Swords. Yeah, someone is waiting for you to propose or to get them out of being single, you know? If you're already taken, you could be tempted to flirt 
or someone still flirting with you and they know that you are taken but they still kind of could be an emperor could be an aries strong aries um <laughs> they could be sending you some spicy uh, messages some some pictures as well okay they do want you to take control and I think they see you as you being too serious you're being too serious wow in your emotions the magician reversed so some of you feel that you um, in terms of finances you feel kind of, of a sh struggle to manifest that prosperity you need to work on also focused on working on your skills and getting ready for that blessing that's coming because there could be the, the tower now there is some competitive um, that causes some disruption so with the Prince of Cups hmm, this is an apology so and healing got the healing card there if there is something that someone that was in your way someone that was manipulating this situation um, well it's time for you to this is a wake this is a spiritual awakening it's like boom now this is not working out anymore this is not how things are this person just wants to wants what I have or it keeps on being forceful as well some of you feel this could be emotionally you getting overwhelmed and this flirtatious energy could cause some if you are already in a relationship some um, fights here some arguments Look at this Prince of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, wow. <laughs> Three of Wands. Okay, so this was toxic. This was terrible. You guys were working against each other. For, I feel that it's not for all of you. Um, but I do see that the connection now to the sun the connection to feels like someone has healed their um, they were their life was built on on something that wasn't stable that you know this is chaos chaotic chaotic families chaotic uh, energy overall their life was uh, chaotic so the three of wands is that that um, maybe a new person okay is coming is ready to come in your ships are coming in that apology maybe if you're um, waiting for an apology this this person is still wearing their heart on their sleeve so they're gonna come to you with good intentions with the Prince of Cups the Sun outcome Libra okay yeah but the problem the issue is to forgive to to change to allow the change to happen some of you it's um, another Libra or Scorpio and judgment look at this justice and judgment I feel this could go both ways really some of you um, you if you realize this person hasn't changed uh, you're gonna find happiness somewhere else and if this relationship is still unfulfilling you're gonna find happiness somewhere else or um, others of you you're gonna give this definitely giving this a, um, another go second chance but uh, if you realize that doesn't work out you're going to definitely free yourself here and it's like rebirth with the Sun 
So the Three of Swords representing this situation there even could have been on standby because there was a lot of heartbreak that you broke up. And if you allow this change to happen, you will find forgiveness there. You will find also that you don't need to worry about, if it's with someone else, even I'm seeing you don't need to worry about this or take this pain to the next relationship, to the new beginning um, that is there for you, King of Swords. So there is definitely forgiveness and the truth being spoken. And look at this. Mwah. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> I don't know why I've done that. Maybe you do that to each other. You make those noises. <laughs> Libra, Libra June. <laughs> Libra, Libra. Okay, well. Oh. So healing uh, reverse. So you need to you need to watch your your health, your vitality, everything to do with connected to your well-being, okay? Reversed indicates that you've been feeling extremely out of sorts or even upside down like, like this. You may be in the midst of some physical problem or just feeling as though you're losing energy, but this card is telling you that there are deeper levels of healing that need to be addressed. Yes, and it could be connected to this contract. It's a soul contract, maybe, for some of you. This is a past life relationship, completing this um, or putting an end to this contract. Okay, it came to an end. For some of you, it did, came to, uh, did come to an end, this um, the soul contract with... A twin flame here. So, and I feel that some of you really decided, even thought about divorced, divorcing, divorce, delay, perhaps even possible disappointment of a sale of a house could fall through, the job offer might not come when expected or romantic union may be uh, on standby. Don't give up hope. This delay may, pro may provide some purpose or protection for you and something, um, something even better could be on its way. This card reverse cautions, cautions you not to become desperate. Your needy, urgent energy could actually postpone the desired outcome even more. Continue taking action, even if it's in another direction and your patience resolve will pay off. Open your heart and your life. Um, open your heart and your life to the person who is willing to be fully present and loving. That person is waiting to commit to your own self-honoring heart. Wow! I told you, envy reversed, which is good. So there are some haters in the house. You have some haters. Reverse this card, reversed. Um, well, there is a great, is this the same one? <laughs> joy and appreciation, which is your outcome. Joy. Um, your focus from future longing to present, huh? from future longing to present gratitude creates a, signif a significant difference in your energy field and moves out in dramatic and radiant way to attract more to you. You know that you can keep your eye on future goals without losing sight of your present gifts. So continue to release any old feelings of envy or lack whenever those, yes, this is what we were saying, you need to calm down, be patient, abundance is coming. Uh, whenever those thoughts or emotions come up, 
so where were we? You need to release, okay? You need to release those feelings whenever they come up. You're well on your way to a completely gratifying life and you genuine genuine acknowledgement of the value within and around you will only keep drawing more value to you wow this is deep the magician and the mirror reversed looking at the man in the mirror oh yeah i think some of you need to Maybe the male strongly resonate with that song, Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. Especially the male, or maybe this person that you're involved with. Male connection in money, health, or value. And it's not 43, it's 53. But did you see that? <laughs> so there's a connection with someone. And I told you this person has money. And you may choose the, the, money, the honey with the shmoney. Reversed. So reverse is warning you that you may be missing a great opportunity. The time is right, but you're not taking advantage of the creative energy of this cycle. You do have the power to transform things for yourself, to create something new, whether home, business, family, or life direction. You may be resistant, uh, or even uh, disbelieving it. So the unlimited power you possess. No, why this is like this? The unlimited power you possess. You may be resistant to the unlimited power you possess, but you had, or even disbelieving in brackets. I'm sorry for the reading. <laughs> the reading is bad, <laughs> but it's time to wake up. The mis misinformation and perceived limitation that linger, especially from the past, that doesn't, doesn't sustain you anymore. So you need to let go of that. And you must fully open up to complete truth of your eternal wisdom, talents and abilities and take the risk of believing in yourself. Now is the time to dig deep. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, very, very interesting, Libra. June 2020. Children, union, long distance. Some of you are thinking about having children with someone that, again, you see long distance, foreign, young male, friendship. Okay, are you deciding to, you may have been in a relationship with someone that you have children with, but they keep kind of, yeah, your past, but you've distanced You've lost contact, you've separated, and there is um, a friendship left. But destiny to your true gem, this could be a younger male or someone that has a son. Maybe you even know the f or are friends with because the friend and the young male, so it could be, you know, the same friends, you have friends here, maybe a young male. You work with someone that knows this person. Maybe you were just friends from childhood even, okay? Childhood friends or when you were younger. So now work and short term. So this didn't really work out, was really short term because maybe a triangle situation, you were still choosing, they were still choosing, they were still, um, they still had their options open. It was an open relationship. So, okay, so you may have a lot of females if you are a male. <laughs> you may, you know, there's a three. One, two, three, or two, young, brunette, and a blondie. 
or if you are this uh, I do see some of you always changing your hair color but the Libra females I see that this could be a friendship okay there is a daughter someone that you have a daughter or you may have a daughter you actually may have a lot of children more than three for some or three but anyway um, this Libra female which is for my Libra females that that was a message for you okay which uh, there is a fair male, someone lightish for the cultural background. And yes, this is the triangle. He just had lots of females around him. Well, you did a lot of options. Even you, you wanted to... <laughs> What's this? Um, okay, so you maybe you prefer to just spend time with your friends and not with them, but also maybe he dated one of your friends or you dated one of his friends um, right or you may all know each other yeah <laughs> this looks like a, this is someone of your soul family so you may uh, may know each other, may know you know, have friends in common. Not for all of you. Even you may realize that they know someone that you knew from childhood. Justice, Libra, awakening. Yes, this is realizing that, and there is a spiritual awakening. I feel this person caused that boom, spiritual awakening in you. Uh, do do what is right. Do what feels that is right. Be fair. It's important to be yourself. So you may have made an unwise choice. Review everyone's motives. Okay, but or you just want to realize some things before you make a decision. You don't want to regret your decision. All right. So. The awakening is that look at things from a different perspective. Make sure it's important to be yourself. Make sure you take that time. You need time. Libras need time to think, to make decisions, especially. Okay. Thank you so much, Libra. I hope it helps. Take care. Bye-bye.